Good morning guys and welcome along to Wednesday's free racing tips video. Hope that everyone's doing well today and looking forward to today's action. Been a bit of an iffy start to the week really. Um, yesterday was a bit frustrating to have two seconds and a third from the free selections. Bit of a hit in the crossbar and hopefully they can just go that place or two better this afternoon. Feeling good about today's action though. Um, got a good feeling that we can get some winners and we race from Banger, Exeter and Air. Um, Kind of as is the norm, that's the uh, the jumping this afternoon and then we're on the all-weather uh, this evening, both at Kempton Park and then at Dundalk over in Ireland. So, busy enough Wednesday, looking forward to it and uh, yeah, hopefully we can get our week right on track and sort of hit the sort of form of, uh, of last week where we uh, had a couple of really good days during the middle of the week. So, um, yeah, confident going into today and we might as well start off by looking at today's premium tip which goes up at the Scottish track at Air. And uh, the one we like here is Final Assault in the 250. That's Final Assault, and this is currently around right about the 7 to 4 mark. This horse went close to making a winning reappearance at Weatherby last time out and shaped as though the return to three miles would really suit on that day. He was doing his best work at the finish, and uh, yeah, three miles should be absolutely no problem whatsoever for this horse. The yard of Lucinda Russell is in cracking form at the moment, and this six year old should build on um, that performance here um should build on that performance from last time out here and the horse was third over course and distance back in april as well so we know that he handles the track and this distance as well it's a bit of a flatter track air so it's not quite as much as perhaps a test of stamina which means that three miles is probably needed for this horse at this track he looks to have a very good chance around the seven to four might do shop around because some bookies are as short as as five to four here but you can get seven to four thirteen to eight sort of across the boards but there's a couple that have gone really short on this one so hopefully that can go well for us final assault in the 250 at air today's little earner we go in the three o'clock at um banger on d for the little earner today and uh, the one we like here is chieftain's choice currently around about the 13 to 2 mark now we've just um seven runners you're only getting two places and quarter the odds for each way bet so we actually think that a win only bet is the way to go on chieftain's choice today i think it looks good value for sort of a one point win and um, this horse will enjoy the ground here at banger and um on his first run for this new yard uh, looks to have a very good chance and um, went well on seasonal reappearance last year so no problem with going fresh and the uh, booking of Leighton Aspel to take the ride is certainly a positive one. This trip of um, two miles and well, basically two miles, three and a half furlongs is just about ideal for this horse. Um, it looks to be the perfect kind of trip right now. And I think yeah, that Chieftain's Choice looks to have a very good chance in what is a, a, a wide open and uh, perhaps a winnable race. I think this one should go well. The obvious, uh, you know, after eight Savola and Gold Present are both. Um, both have very good chances, but I would rather be backing Chieftain's Choice at a really nice price there. So that's the premium tip and little earner. Lucky 15, as always, freeracingtips.co.uk. Then click on today's tips, then click on the Lucky 15. But for now, guys, thank you very much for watching today's video. We'll speak to you all a little bit later on. Let's hope for a, a, um, a good day of, of winners today. And, uh, yeah, of course, our thoughts also on this Remembrance Day with all those uh, fallen heroes that have fought for our country. And we will be observing a minute's silence a little bit later on. So uh, we will, of course, remember them. Thank you, guys. Speak to you all later. And bye-bye.